Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Foundation. My name is Axfield and we are playing the unmodded version of the game. So we're going to keep it organic and uh, we're going to just extend the city and just play the game as far as I can. We're going to do a 12 episode series and so I'm going to see how far I can progress. Now if you like city builder games, survival games and crafting games, Please do remember to press the subscribe as well as the bell notification button so that you can stay updated on the series as well as other games. Now, within the previous episode, I did kind of like ran out of money, but we're looking all good now. <laughs> Things are looking good. And uh, what I want to do is I want to further expand my treasury. I've really got to do that. So let's just add another building here. I've got an idea of what I want to do here uh, with the manor. So I'm going to just extend another block like that. Uh, towards the back so I've got some sort of idea of what I want to do so I'm going to just extend it a little bit further there to the back and uh, I'm going to also go ahead and open up the clothing production now I want to get that going and uh, we're going to need to open some more territory uh, you know just for the sheep to wander around so we're going to open up that territory and uh, then once I've accumulated some extra money I'm going to open up this territory over here and we're going to start producing some meat and we're going to build the hunting cabins. I've got currently five available workers. Uh, at the moment, I've got three foods that I'm selling, which is fish, berries. Oh, I was supposed to sell bread here. Okay, well, there we go. We've got bread there as well. So that's the three foods that we are selling. And now we're going to obviously have a good market as well. And um, that's going to start becoming uh, an essential now. So you can see they're already demanding the goods. Um, they say we've got a food shortage here, which is not really true. Um, so I don't know why I'm getting like a minus one there. And uh, I did do a lot of levy mandates, so I can understand why they're upset about that one. But uh, let's maybe go ahead and build another fishery. Um, in that way, we can just avoid the whole food shortage thing. So let's just go ahead and build that right over there. Now, I've already laid the blueprint here for the monastery, so I still need to do the monk dorms. Maybe I should just go ahead and add that. Um, oops. Oops, oops, oops. What am I doing? Uh, accidentally remove that. Uh, there we go. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go back there now. Let's just see here. Uh, Okay, so what I actually wanted to do, honestly, there we go. Okay, let's just go ahead and add the monk dorms. So I want to go and add another big block here to the back, because the bigger the dorms are, the more monks you can assign to the monastery. So that's kind of, I want to get a lot of monks in here. Now we've got this whole island, obviously, that we can utilize, so I can expand the monastery quite a lot still. There we go. All right, now I'm going to leave the space open at the back because I'm going to do like a passageway to the back and then I'm going to make it split out to the sides. So we're kind, kind of going to have like a T formation with the building and I'm going to close it off with walls eventually and we're going to have a yard which they can get their little herbs and all that stuff. So uh, I'm thinking maybe I should start building the monastery. Uh, yeah. I think let's maybe go for that. Let's just maybe get it going, you know. And uh, we can also get the monk dorms up and going. Right, so I'm going to obviously now just leave this on fast forward. And um, I think we're going to build another builder's hut. Or builder's workshop, rather. And uh, let's go ahead and place it someplace over here. That would make sense. So then we've got one on both ends of the town. And uh, then I'm going to also go ahead and start building uh, the sheep farms over here. So I want to do two sheep farms. I think that will suffice. So let's just maybe go ahead and place one over here and another one over here. Here we go. Right. And uh, we're going to start off with just one weaver's hut. And I think it would be appropriate to place it right next to the bakery. And then of course the tailor workshop. 
I'm gonna just get that going as well. Right. Okay, I'm feeling like I want to send off some of my soldiers again, so let's just maybe assign another two soldiers to the fort. And uh, let's just see here. Uh, soldiers. Just need to assign some swords. Now, if we can get spears, that would be really great. I have, in the previous game, found spears on an expedition. So, if you can get that, they're a much stronger weapon than the sword. So, if I can equip my soldiers with the spears, that would be great. It's going to really make the missions so much easier. Now, what I've also done is I've colored in the area towards this side. So, my idea is to build the residential area pretty much right around the lake. And... Um, then ultimately, if I ever play that far, then we can do like a wall all around this lake. And uh, then hopefully we can get some really good minerals in this rock formation over here. Now this is a pretty big rock formation, so I'm sure we're going to get everything we need from here. I'm pretty sure about it. I was pretty cheeky, I really took the perfect location just to get everything right there. Uh, well, kind of like just for this... Uh, series of sake you know just to make things a little bit quicker all right so we've got another fisher's hut over here and uh let's see if we can send our soldiers off to a mission so i'm gonna have to go for an easy one now we've only got one easy one where they've got a hunt vermin so i think with the current soldiers that i've got available i think it should suffice oh my goodness Okay, now I'm going to have to wait until these wounded shoulders, soldiers recover. I don't have enough soldiers yet. Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay. But we're going to get some pretty good stuff here. So, hmm. Okay, let's just let the troops recover. I want to increase my success chance to make it like very well. So like extreme. And uh, that just risks, uh, it decreased the risk of me losing soldiers and failing the mission altogether. Now this is going to bug me because I set the dummy the wrong way around. So you can see this guy is like fighting through the wall. But that's okay, I'll change it up a little bit later. Once I've got my cloth production going. Okay, so we've got one shepherd here. I'm going to spawn four sheep. So they don't really want you to do more than four sheep. Otherwise they tell you you're abusing it, so... We're going to stick with the four sheep. There we go. Right, so then we just need to wait for another few villagers. So we've got another two or three. Looks like it's coming there. And um, I need to start building up my money again. Because now I'm over overspending again. <laughs> okay, right. Because the buildings that I've placed now, they cost quite a bit. Um, some buildings that you place, they do cost money, not just resources. I wonder if the monastery, I think that also costs a little bit of money. In any case, we're going to sort it out. Got a trader coming here. Uh, let's see, okay, I can sell bread. Let's just see what my bread is set at. 35, let's maybe bring it down to 30. Okay, there we go. So we need to assign a commoner here to the weaver's hut. I'm going to do that now. Should get some good coin for the bread. Hopefully. Okay. <laughs> Doesn't look like it. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, let's just do another levy. Scars levy. Yes. Thank you. Alright, and... Let's assign a weaver there. Let's do two weavers. Okay, there we go. Alright, let's just see if the soldiers recovered yet. Uh, still not. I'm not quite sure. I think I need to assign... Um, a barracks for them uh, so that they can recover I think that's how it works but 
But let's just leave that for now. Okay, well, pretty soon I'm going to have my clothing up and then I can trade that as well. Let's just see here. Mm. I've got a space for my planks. So I'm going to just say maybe here, empty stock. And I'm going to open up the space here for the clothing. Because we've already got a space for the planks. Right, so I'm going to take that away and we can place the clothing in there. Alright, so we've got the tailor up. I just need to assign a new villager here. So we've got some more people coming in. So I can definitely assign one of these guys. Or new villagers. That's great. Okay. Let's just go ahead and assign one tailor here. And now with the extra villagers that I've got, I'm going to maybe assign another two soldiers. And uh, let's just equip them with the weapons. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so now I can send them off onto a quest. So we've got now a lot of easy quests. So let's just see a noble escort. What can we get here? James, jewelry, wine. Okay, not really. Uh, planks. Oh, yeah. I can do with that. So any one of these two. Mm, let's go for this one. Because it's not going to take as long to complete this mission. There we go. Okay, so I do believe I need to build the barracks for them to recover the wounded soldiers. But uh, I'm going to just leave it for now. Just at least until I've got the monastery built. Okay, so I am going to produce some clothes now. It's already looking good at this stage. And uh, we're going to slot it in there. By this warehouse over here. So now before I can start trading the clothes, I need to have at least 20 clothing so to open up the trade route. So let's see. Uh, yeah, we want to unlock this one. Now what's nice about this trade route is that I can sell the clothing as well as fish. Now fish I've got in abundance, so we're going to sort our money out pretty quickly now. There we go, yeah we've got plenty of fish, so that's going to be fantastic. Alright, we've got the 20 clothing, so we're going to open up that trade route and then I'm also going to say here, we're going to sell that once we go over 20 clothing. And with the fish, oh we can go crazy with the fish. Let's maybe bring it down all the way down to 60. Okay, so let's just quickly sort the money thing out. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to trade a little bit more tools so I can bring the tool amount up a little bit. Seeing that we've got some good sales going. Uh, oh, where's the tools? Here we go. Let's take that up to 20.
got another four villagers coming in. That's really good. Okay, now I do think I need to upgrade my markets a little bit. So let's maybe go for that. I'm producing a good amount of cloth. So I'm going to start uh, upgrading my markets. But I'm thinking maybe before I do that, let's get another training dummy up here. Training grounds. Okay, and I need to turn this, this one around. Okay, so now they're not going to clip with the building anymore, at least. Uh, let's maybe go for two of these. There we go. And once those are built, I'll destroy this one and then I'll add eventually another dummy. Okay, great. So the people can start coming in here. We just need to do the dorms now and then once the dorms are set up then I can start with the garden and so they can start producing us some additional berries and herbs and the herbs I can also sell. I can't remember which town buys the herbs, let me just see here. Uh, okay, it's Northbury, so they buy the herbs from me, so that's good. So we can start selling that as well. Now we've got a good amount of clothing that we can sell, so within the next trade I think that's going to sort itself out. Got so much fish and, and clothing now that we can sell. Okay, perfect. Yeah, let's do another very easy mission here. I'm gonna maybe select this one over here. Uh, okay, now I've only got two troops available. Never mind. We've got these two training training dummies up, so I'm going to just go ahead and delete this one. Uh, here we go. There we go. Okay, cool. I think I'm going to just go ahead and add the barracks here. So in this way the troops can just recover. So it's okay, cool. Okay, and I think it's about time that I start upgrading the market. So let's just go ahead. Uh, but what is, what am I selling here? I've got the bread, so I'm going to do all my food market stalls. I'm going to do with red and my goods. I'm going to do with the blue. And then once I get to my luxury items, I'm going to do like this triangular, the green market tent. So but let's just do this for now. Put the sign up there. And let's just build like so. I 
just want to add some extra items that I can add here to the store. So I usually just go ahead and add some barrels here at the back. Just to suce it up a little bit. Here we go. That should be fine. Okay, because I really need to boost my labor influence at this stage. It's okay, getting a little bit low. I'm already starting to get uh, influence here with the clergy, seeing that I've got the monastery up. I'm very close to having the dorms done, and then once that's done, we can start assigning the monks. Now let's just see here. Uh, the sub-building, the monastic garden. Okay, so I want to do herbs and berries. So let's just maybe start with two herb plantations. I'm going to do a little bit more. But for now, we can maybe go with two. Just like so, and then we can do two berry plantations as well. Here we go. Alright, and the berries, I'm going to probably just replace one of the meats here with the herbs. Alrighty, so we've got the barracks here, and uh, I think this should help them recover, I believe. Well, we've got some pretty good influence here with the Kingdom Estate, so let's just, uh, just maybe unlock a few of these things. There we go. Market improved, that's good. Okay, so that just helped me to get some influence here with the labor. With the labor state, so I want to really boost it as quick as I can so that we can also get the tax office up. So that's going to really help my, my finances as it is not looking good. Alright, so we've got the monk dorms up, so let's just go ahead. And devote a few of our villagers here. So we've already got three. Which is great. And so those three monks. They will start harvesting the berries. As well as the, the herbs for now. <laughs> okay. So they give me the option to get uh, planks and stone or I can get 20 points for from the clergy or I can get a hundred coin now I'm very tempted to take the hundred coin seeing that I've got such little money but the planks and the polished stone I believe is gonna go a much longer way for me if I just buy that so or take that from them so let's just do that I think that's maybe a good idea Got the trader from middle. Let's just see uh, trade routes. Okay, perfect. Middle are the guys that buys my clothing and fish, and that's really what I want. All right. So my next thing, my next step here for the monastery is obviously to build uh, this scriptorium. Now the scriptorium, I want to kind of like place like so, right over there. We can do an extension to one of the sides, so I'm probably going to do one extension. Oh, there we go. And that's what we got from the quest. So the scriptorium I'm going to send to the left or to the right, and then we should have enough people um, making books there. 
But yeah, I've got some pretty good resources there now, so I'm happy about that. And uh, let's see how many soldiers we've got available now. We've still got only the four wounded, so that's perfect. I didn't wound any more of my soldiers, so that's great. Okay, I'm going to send them on this quest because I can do with the extra tools as well as possible spears. So let's just go ahead and select a few of these guys. There we go. Alright, so I've got to choose one of these options. Hmm. Okay, I've got this idea, I wanna... Hmm... Buying cheaper tools. Oh, this might work. Yeah, I think, yeah, this is gonna work because the tools are quite expensive and I use a lot of it. So I'm gonna just go ahead and select that one. 25% of, of the tools. Yeah, that's gonna sure come in handy. Right, so you can see the people are very happy at this stage. I still need to open up a goods market. So maybe that's the time to do that now. And uh, I think I'm going to maybe set it up right over here. Yeah, why not? Let's do it like so. Oh, I still need to unlock the goods market. Okay, never mind. Now we need 50 coin to unlock that, so I'm going to just leave that for now. Okay, but I am starting to produce the herbs as well as additional berries, so... Let's just maybe go ahead and also start exporting some herbs. So let's see here. Uh, I'll start exporting herbs once I get to 10. I think I'm going to do that. Because I'm not going to have any use for the herbs at this stage. And uh, I think I can go ahead and start building the scriptorium. There we go. got a copyist capacity of six so we can get six people to work there all right yeah i think that's fine let's just go ahead and start with that and uh, i think i'm gonna add some more uh, herb gardens let's see uh, let's add another herb plant over here probably gonna end up with four of each and another berry planter. There we go. Right, can we devote some more? Yet. Okay, just need to get a few more extra villagers to the town. And um, the money is looking better, much, much better. So let's go ahead and. Hmm. Like thinking what I should do. Maybe let's unlock the goods market. Yeah, why not? So I've got to build these additional items just to get some labor influence. Here we go. Yeah, 
yeah i think this monastery is going to look pretty awesome once it's done and uh, then i'm going to just do like an outer wall all around the island So the cloth production is looking pretty good so I think I can just go ahead and maybe also upgrade the other stalls over here. So I need, really need to boost my labor influence at this stage so that I can get the tax office also up. There we go. And the last one. Alright, so currently we've got 5 monks, which I think is good for Town of 73. And uh, let's just also see here. Uh, uh, these 4 soldiers are still wounded. Man. It take forever to heal. Okay, so these guys will, they want me to accumulate 50 bread um, for North Bree, which I think I should be able to do. Um, currently got zero, but it's fine. We've got a nice harvest there for the crane. So what I am going to do is I'm going to maybe not sell and just remove that and just let the bread accumulate. I'm going to maybe assign another baker, so let's just go ahead and maybe promote someone here. There we go. Okay, I think I can add some decorations here to the town. Before these houses will upgrade, so... Okay, so I believe my labor points uh, should start to accumulate now, my labor influence. And uh, then I can just go ahead and unlock the tax office. That's definitely the first thing I want to do. So we've got the monastic scriptorium built, so let's just see. Can I devote more? No. Okay. Well, that's okay. <laughs> Look at these monks work. That's so cute with their little scythes there. And the bolt hits.
All right, so they want me to accumulate 100 wood, which, yeah, I think I can do that. Already got that in any case. It does look like I've got enough bread also, but uh, they just have to place it in the storage before I can take that out. So I don't know what the delays are. There we go, at least we've got the wood. Oh, that's going to come very much in handy, that extra coin. And we've got some points there from the clergy. I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough bread here for this uh, North Pre. Oh, I've got just too little. Oh man, that sucks. Well, I've got another 50 days to fulfill that, so I can still do it. Let's maybe go ahead and add another farm over here. I'm going to just go ahead and maybe add a farm on this side. Here we go. And then we can just paint the crops here upwards. Okay, there we go. We've got six monks. Now I've got currently, it shows I've got 63 bread, but they're not placing it within the storage, so yeah, I don't know. Uh, it's probably here by one of the stalls. Ah, uh, there we go. Got one more market selling it, that's okay. Now I've got plenty of time to fulfill this order, so we're going to set this farm up as well. Hopefully on time so that I can just do that extra produce. Alright, let's just go ahead and paint this area over here. Right, and we've also got the soldiers coming back now from another expedition. And I think I might be able to obtain some spears from that mission, hopefully. Right, so we've got another four villagers. Maybe let's just devote. Yeah, maybe just do two. Ah, whatever. 
I'm going to just go for it. Alright. So they're going to start producing the manuscripts, I believe, pretty soon. And uh, then once we've got that, we can open up another trade route. And that's the one to Kinstone Abbey. So when we've got the trade route open here from Kinstone Abbey, they will also buy planks from me. Um, as well as the herbs, which, yeah, I'm going to definitely be producing a lot of that. And then, of course, the meat. So we've got the soldiers that came back. Unfortunately, I didn't get any spears. But that's okay. And no gold. Oh, my goodness. Well, that's a little bit of a waste. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Uh, what are we going to get for this one? Tools, gold ore. Uh, Swords and spears. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for this one. Here we go. We're sending all those guys out. I've got to just wait for this uh, bread to accumulate now again. Unfortunately, I couldn't get the farm set up on time, so we didn't get that extra healed, but that's okay. Should be able to get enough. And then I think what I am going to do is I'm going to maybe to see uh, I'm going to stop this market from selling anything just for a while just to make sure we get the right amount of bread uh, to Northbury. We do want to increase the trade. Okay, there we go. I'm going to just close that market for now. So my labor influence is slowly increasing, so I should have enough now very soon to do the tax office. And uh, I can see there's a stargazer now approaching, and generally uh, this means that they're forecasting bad weather. Right, here we go. Got all the bread to Northbury. So I'm gonna just go ahead and open this up again. Alright, so I can see here one of my soldiers did in fact recover. It takes very long for them to recover. Must say. Let's just maybe add a tree or so here. Here we go. So I just need one more labor point and uh, then I can set up my tax office. And I definitely want to get that going as soon as possible. Still got three wounded soldiers, so let's just see missions. Easy. Got this one. Okay, that sounds gonna work.
I'm gonna just go ahead and add another training dummy over here. So we've got that extra cloth, so here we go. Okay, so here yeah, we've got the bad weather that I spoke of. I'm not sure if it's going to um, affect the fair. Not really sure. But in any case, everybody seems happy. Well, I've got a lot of available um, unemployed people, so I'm going to just go ahead and assign a whole bunch of them as monks so now that means we've got now three herbalists, three foragers and we've got six copyists now that's good you can see the herb production is pretty good we've got currently 67 already I think this is now all the people that has come to the fair. You can just see a whole bunch of people standing around here. Uh, the fair is almost at its end. We've got about 8 days left. Alrighty. They are happy. That gave me a very good boost here for my overall happiness for the village. So I just need to wait till this fair is done then I can get that extra labor points. And uh, then I'm going to unlock my tax offers. Now I've got a good amount of coins so I'm now thinking 
maybe it's time to just get the hunting cabin open so let's open up this space and I'm gonna go ahead and build two hunters huts go and then of course we do need a butchery as well I think it would be appropriate to maybe place the butchery around about here hope it's not too congested uh, but in any case I'm gonna go for it let's place the butchery right over here So let's just see a color in the hunting zones. There we go. That should be fine. I'm going to take away this extraction zone right over here. I'm not going to use that anymore. I mean, the space is pretty much cleared out. Okay, so we've got the two hunting cabins. Here we go. And I st still just need to set up the butchery. What, once we've got that up, then I'm going to go ahead and also start selling, exporting my meat. You can see the monastery is looking really good here on the island. Yeah, I think it was a good choice just to go with this. Definitely. Alright, so the butchery is also up. I'm gonna just go ahead and assign two of my villagers there and let's just go ahead and also trade the meat. So let's see. Where's the meat? There we go. Can sell that and maybe let's take it when it's above 20. Just wanna keep some meat in stock just for in case. But in any case guys, that's it from me for today's episode. We're going to take it further within the next one. I do believe within the next one I'm going to have my tax office up. And uh, yeah, then we're going to just expand the town further. And then from there I'm going to have to place my tavern as well as get my bailiff. So that is the two things I definitely need to get going within the next episode. But thank you guys so much for watching. And then I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye bye.